So hello, Taurus, and welcome back to Divine Rebel. My name is Racy, and I'm going to be doing the readings for you today. Um, these are going to be general messages, so it may or may not resonate with you. You take it however it does resonate. Um, today, it's mostly going to be oracle cards um, and advice, all right? Um, I do use profanity on the channel, so if you and talk about adult stuff. So if you have children around or just don't like it, you can sign off. And outside of that, I mean, all my information is in the description. If you want the extended from this energy, reach out to me um, on Facebook via Divine Rebel Readings, okay? And you can talk to me about getting into my extended groups there. I'll be doing more of the insights this week with the Tarot in there, okay? So getting right into it, Taurus. <clears throat> getting right into it. What are you healing in your energy this week? What is the universe's focus on your energy this week? What is the universe's focus in your healing? What's going on in your healing? Right. Go figure, Taurus. It's your season, and we got the sacral chakra with money energy. Now, Money energy, I always resonate with the heart chakra. So whenever it comes out in this deck with the sacral chakra, the sacral chakra is about guilt and obligation. So issues with money surrounding feeling guilty or obligated. Make sure you watch how you're thinking about debt. Watch the money flow that's going out and how it's coming in. Money comes in many forms. It doesn't just come in bills and coins and credit. Money can come in the form of a meal that someone bought for you that you didn't have to pay for. Money could come in the form of someone who pays for your gas without any expectation. They just mystery person. I know I've done it. <laughs> I've done it to people. You never know how money is going to show up. So hold gratitude this week. Don't feel, and I'm also getting this energy of not feeling like everything needs to be reciprocated. You know, if you give money, if you give energy of love to someone, you know, if you buy them a meal, if you treat them to something in the mall, you know, like whatever it is that you're doing, do it from a place of genuine, I'm just doing it because it feels good, joy. Right? The sacral chakra is about joy and pleasure. So take pleasure in the fact that you're letting that money energy flow from you with no expectation of getting it back specifically from that person or specifically a certain way. Because the way the universe works is if you give without, expecta without expectation, the universe will bring it back to you in another way. And you might find $50 on the ground. You know what I mean? Because the universe recognizes that you're a good person and wants to return it to you, even if the other person doesn't notice it or can give it back to you, even if they wanted to. They can't. You know, the universe will always give back. So remember that this week, okay? This is about flow energy. I'm also going to pull uh, my Rainbow Warrior activation deck for you. All right, so specific energies. The last deck, that was my... Um, Chakra Insight Oracle by Karen Sangster. Okay. Rainbow Warrior Activation Deck. What energy is aiding you this week, Taurus? What energy is aiding you this week? Well, that's too many. What do you got? Ooh. You want to guess what that is? <laughs> Beautiful card. All right. <clears throat> it is card number 18. Let me get it up for you. Fire. <laughs> of course, it is fire. Okay. So the key words are transformation, passion. Temporal, 
preparation, transition, and innovation. Now, Taurus, you're an earth element. And I just did Aries and they got earth element. <laughs> so if you're dealing with an Aries, make sure you watch. <laughs> okay, so it says, fire is the great transformer of life. It prepares us for the future. It can remove obstacles and shed light. Sometimes it's the inspiration we need to make changes quickly in order to receive what we have been preparing for. The fire element must be nurtured in order to be sustained. As with fire, this card arbors that any changes happening now will be completed quickly. Look at what passions you're willing to let go or which ones must be nurtured. Now is the time to surrender to the changes happening. Allow the fire to burn away any fears or doubts you may have. And this is about transforming because you know what, Taurus, if you're looking at this money energy and look at the colors, you know, the orange colors of the sacral and the fire. Look at this energy, not my hair. <laughs> Look at this energy, money and fire, changes happening quickly. As soon as you recognize all of what I said at the beginning about money flow and energy, guilt and obligation and joy, it's going to inspire a spark and change, is it not? And that's going to happen quickly. That's going to happen quickly. Things are going to start to shift and change very quickly and for the better. It's transformative, okay? Mind energies. That's awesome. All right. I'm also going to pull my medicine cards, my animal spirit medicine cards. Okay. I no longer have the book to these, so I do them mostly intuitive. Okay. So, what animal spirit is helping you out this week? What animal medicine? is helping you heal this week. 727 was on the clock. Angel numbers. Raven. <clears throat> Raven energy. Now, you know, Taurus, oh, you know. <laughs> you know where your energy is being drained. And you know where your perception is not helping you manifest what you want. Raven is the clear reminder that the divine is telling you this through your intuition very, very clearly. Look out for black feathers as a reminder. Raven. Raven is a messenger that comes with those red flag intuitive knowings. It's the red flag you feel in your intuition that does not feel right. You know if you're not going to get that money back from the person you just lent it to. So if you're going to lend it, no, you ain't getting it back. If you get it back, great. If you don't, oh well. Don't expect things. You know better, Taurus. You know better. And if you're seeing black feathers or you're seeing ravens or other blackbirds like crows synchronicities, that's the universe reminding you. You know better. Okay? Pay attention to where you're giving your energy. And if you know you're not going to get it back, be okay with not getting it back. Or don't do it. Raven. So I hope that helps you, Taurus. If you want any more information about me, everything's in the description. So until next time, love each other. And most importantly, love yourselves. Bye.